mentally, spiritually, all that good stuff. Trying to um, make sure I'm happy within myself before building with somebody else. Because, <clears throat> as y'all know, um, I was in like a long relationship or whatever. And I want to make sure I'm not like messing with my feelings along with somebody else's. So I'm kind of trying to make sure um, I'm good, I'm happy. With all of my issues and um, just everything in general, y'all. But basically, I be having my moments where I be spazzing and stuff like that. Like, I'll snap or get really upset or whatever. And I want to not take that out on people because I hate arguing with a passion. I hate having. myself regardless of my weight or whatever because I'm I'm cute as heck I don't care what nobody say but I wanted to be more happy within myself and like you know you know what I'm talking about I wanted to like be able to look at myself and be like yes like because I'm already cute but I wanted to feel healthy I wanted to feel happy and healthy not just feel happy but not look healthy or feel healthy or whatever i want it all throughout my whole body throughout my whole mind my heart and everything i want everything to be perfect because eventually 
when I end up having kids and stuff like that, I want no burden on my children or anything else like that. I want everything to be good, my relationship to be solid. I don't want no baby daddies or nothing like that. <laughs> like, I just. I just want everybody to be good, y'all. Like, I want y'all to take it slow because after talking to my friends and stuff and their relationships, what they're going through and um, how they can't find a good relationship or be in a good relationship or um, my friend who was getting, who's trying to get married and what she's going through. It's just a lot and people are going through a lot. Like, and it's, you can, there's no such thing as a perfect guy my mom told me to go to write down what I wanted a guy in a notebook I was gonna have like you want me to do what write down what what like I was so confused and I was just like whatever I thought she was just like just playing around or whatever so I just sat there and I did and in my head, I was thinking, I'm this list is about to be long as heck. I'm about to have like all these stuff on this list because I got, I want my man to have this and this and this and this and this. And this. Man, that was not even the case. I my list had, I had like four bullets and bullets and points, whatever it's called. Like I couldn't think of nothing. <laughs> like there is literally no such thing as the perfect guy. Like I could not think of anything. Like, you could say you want this, this, and this, and the guy. But at the end of the day, everybody has some type of issue going on within themselves or what they've been through or what they are going through at the time that you met them. Whatever, whatever. There is no such thing as a guy who never been through nothing, who just got money, who just sitting up and, and just, like, got all this money, who's going to spend it on you, got this super nice car, this giant house. Like, there's no such thing as a guy like that, and there's no such thing as a girl like that. Like... Everybody got a, had, got a struggle in the end because sometimes you got to fall before you fly. That's my motto. That's also my tattoo on my shoulder up here. On my shoulder back here. Um, like everybody goes through stuff. Like everybody goes through stuff. Everybody's been through stuff. It's what makes you perfectly imperfect at the end of the day. I don't want nobody perfect. I don't like perfect people or people who think they're perfect. It's just not cute. Because at the end of the day, you're perfectly imperfect like y'all y'all better use that quote <laughs> it's somebody's quote but shoot i said it just now <laughs> but yeah like y'all just gotta love yourself and don't be out here being like your guards like all the way up to the point where you can't let that person in the person that could be the one could be your soulmate but you can't let them in because your guard's up because you still waiting on that perfect, perfect, perfect man. Like, that you're never going to find. Or that perfect, perfect, perfect girl that ain't got no flaws or nothing that you're never going to find. Because you'll be waiting forever. And you'll be single forever. Honestly. I'm just being real with y'all because that's what I am. Nay Nation is real all the way. I'm going to give it to you straight. In my opinion. All this stuff is in my opinion. I don't know how people feel, whatever. You can put it in the comments how you feel. It's cool. But in my opinion, and regarding what I've been through and how I feel, um, what would be better for me and stuff like that is how it is. I don't know if it's going to work for everybody else. It's not. It's probably not. But I'm just giving it to y'all. My version, basically. But, um... Say. But yeah, just um, don't be out here having your um your expectations for a person so high. Like, get to know them first. Don't rush into it physically. Don't be trying to have sex and stuff automatically, cause that makes guys or girls look at you in a way like, oh dang, that's all he wants. Oh dang. She nasty. She all she want to do is do this and this and this and this. Like you got to for a girl, you got to let guys like use his imagination. H have him wondering, have him thinking, "Dang, um she look real cute today, whatever. Um I wonder what she's like um physically so like whatever. Like <laughs> y'all know what I mean? Like have let them wonder let them think don't instantly like on the um instantly like on the first 
they only wanted to have sex or they only wanted to 